Alrighty, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to turn your natural hair into some nice, beautiful, beachy waves, effortless beachy waves without any heat. Because I personally have been trying to grow my hair out and heat does not help it. I'm like addicted to cutting my split end, so we're going to be trying no heat methods for the rest of the year. So this is upcoming, um, you know, summertime look that kind of do this one all year round, but it definitely during the summer it's going to look really cute. So what I do is I put my hair in French braids overnight. So you let your hair work while you sleep. Let's see. So also my boyfriend is working on his album here. So if you hear lots of music, that is what that is. <laughs> Um, so let's section this off. I like to make my split my hair not exactly down the middle. I kind of like to have it right where my part's going to be because it's just easier to um, have your hair stay in that position all day instead of putting hairspray in. You just split it how you want it originally and then it'll stay off to that side and you can just kind of tease it out to make it to give it volume at the roots because that would probably be the only negative part that I have to say about this is that your roots get pretty, um, what's it called? They get, they get pretty, they get pretty, you know, flat. And so it's not a good look. So you just gotta go in and like fluff them out and I'll show you when I take them out. So I'm gonna go in with a treatment. I'm going in with, it's a 10. So this is a drugstore brand that you can go ahead and get. And I'm putting this basically all over my hair and the reason is so that when you take your braids out you don't have to put product in your hair anymore you're like you're basically done you're good to go because the more products you put or the more you mess with it once you take it out of the braids the fluffier and just um, the fluffier it's gonna get so if you have thick hair it's just gonna go kind of back to um, like a puffy mess if you have straight hair you're going to lose your curls a lot more easier so Moral of the story is do what you can to not touch your hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just get started. So if you don't know how to do a French braid, let me know and I'll make a tutorial for it. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of tried to make uh, the braid kind of closer to the front with pretty big chunks in between. So I just kind of like go back and I try to put it all the way through and also because I wear this overnight but sometimes depending on where I'm going I'll um, you know go to the grocery store like this or something so you want to make sure your braids are at least even and symmetrical so that you can they're more like wearable. One time I did three braids on my head <laughs> be just because um, I was trying to fix the fact that when you do this, the, the back of your hair that's flat right here um, kind of stays really straight and so I did like a third braid, so I did basically just like three French braids back um, and I didn't really, I mean I liked the way my hair turned out but I can't, the thing about that is that it, it's really made, meant for like only overnight because then you can't leave the house like that, I mean you can, whatever, wear a beanie, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm filming. I'll be in in a second. You can, can you play it? What? Can you play it? No, it's gonna come in here. Okay. Can you just play it? Are you gonna record? I'm already recording. Oh. <laughs> Is that a no? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Musicians. Am I right? Okay, wait, oh, where's this country? Oh, it's in this hair. Okay, there we go. So then at the end, we just tie it on up. And so my hair personally is super thick. And because it's thick, it's good thing about being thick is that it holds a shape. So if I put it in like this, when I take it out, it's going to be beautiful little waves. Bad thing about my hair being thick is that... Um, it holds its shape. So if you get a scrunchie that is too small 
and you put it on the bottom here, then what is going to happen is your hair is just going to kind of look singed at the bottom. Like it's going to go wavy, wavy straight. So you want to try to get a big scrunchie, you know, the thicker the better so that it doesn't leave a harsh line at the bottom. So again, with the product, putting our product in our hair. And yeah, I'm gonna try to look, see some other techniques. I feel like a lot of them are gonna have to do with braids, which I only know how to do French braid, fishtail braid, yeah, regular braid. <laughs> and like, that's it. Mm, yeah. I don't really put hairspray in my hair, but my hair is pretty damaged from all the times I've chemically straightened it when I was a kid and also just, you know, flat ironing it when I do. I'm really trying to not, though, but it's hard. I like the way my hair looks when it's straight, you know? Especially when it's, uh, ooh, but you know, one time I was watching these BuzzFeed videos and they were kind of showing different um, hair routines for curly hair. And I think that was so valuable because a lot of people don't realize that just the way you're taught to do your hair doesn't mean it's like the only way. There might be a way that's better for you to uh, take care of your hair that gets you better results, you know. Like if you want, especially if you want to wear your hair more natural and you want to really accentuate the kind of hair that you have, you should really look into um, some kind of like videos on how to make that a possibility. Like in uh, BuzzFeed, one thing that I took from their video was that they, one of the ladies washes her hair upside down. Now she's actually vegan too. One of the, her ladies washes her hair upside down. So I've been doing that and that's actually been helping a lot with my curls. The only thing is that my hair still just gets like super poofy and I don't like putting a whole lot of product because it's so thick that I feel like it never, the product never distributes itself evenly. So I'll always have some parts of my hair that are like really crunchy or really like held together and then the rest of it is like frizzy. It's usually just like the underneath part. So I don't know, I should buy a diffuser. I used to have one, that was pretty helpful too. But um, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna finish this up here at the end. And this is the end of this step. So I'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> when I take my hair out. And yeah, sometimes I do that a little too. So it's a little like a little loop de loo. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow morning. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> It's been about two days. I braided my hair last on Friday and it is now Sunday. So this has obviously been slept in a bit. It looks a bit messy, but I'm going to go out today to my boyfriend's grandma's birthday. So I'm gonna have my hair nice and wavy. So let me show you the technique that I do when I start to take the braids out. You wanna try to be careful to not run your fingers through your actual hair just to um, kind of just undo the braids little by little so when you do the french braid you'll see here for example this is like one piece that i grabbed so what i like to do is go in with a flat iron and just kind of gently just flat iron the roots so like right there and all this does for me is to just like make my hair look um less frizzy and then you can kind of feel it as you go along this is obviously something that could take some practice but with due time and diligence I'm sure you'll be able to um, complete this just as easily I usually go through this kind of pretty fast when I'm trying to go through it slow so you can see what I'm doing the flat iron if anybody cares that I'm using is Nano Titanium by Baby Bliss Pro. And I've had this flat iron for ages. It's never causing any problems. It has four different heat settings, of which I'm on the second highest right now, just because my hair's thick, so that kind of depends on the thickness of your hair. What you, how um, hot do you want to keep it? Or have it, and all that? 
Oh, see, that's what you want to try to avoid. This right here, where I'm kind of like pulling that those apart, because it's not, it's just creates more frizz for me. Now, for some people, um, if you have like thinner hair and you run your fingers through it too much, you're just gonna lose the shape of the curl. So. If you're trying to not put hairspray in your hair, because a lot of hairspray has alcohol in it, so it's very drying. Um, so if you can, avoid putting hairspray in your hair. No heat. Oh, this is heat. <laughs> but the tips. I'm not putting heat on the tips. No heat. Try to put, um, just like your skin, you know, you want to try to find products that don't have any alcohol in them. Because surprisingly, a lot of products are alcohol-based. Like, did you hear the conspiracy that Chapstick actually puts, I heard this from Shay Dawson, actually puts little blades in their Chapstick? Hmm. Let me know if you've heard about that. I actually have never heard about that until I saw that YouTube video. But, you know, I think there's a lot of companies that kind of like skincare and hair care where alcohol is obviously such a drying factor and so when you have a a product that's supposed to be moisturizing why would you put alcohol in it you know a lot of times it's for the scent or so that it can stay on the shelf longer but either way you're kind of contradicting the reason people are purchasing your products they think it's going to make their hair slash skin look and feel more moisturized when in fact it's doing the exact opposite so now that you kind of start, start to get towards the end here, it's going to get a little messier. And you might not have this going on because I have bangs. So I tend to straighten those all out anyways. So yeah, if you can see here, I only go up about like half an inch. And then for this part, my bangs, I start down. Now these ones I comb through because I'm going to straighten them out anyways. Start down at the bottom here. And the thinner, the better. So that was probably another huge tip and advice for people that um, are trying to straighten their hair and don't really understand why it's not coming out the way they're, they hope that it will. Um, usually you're just grabbing chunks that are too thick. So you kind of want to go in and use, even if you have a tool better, but I just use my fingers and it works just fine. Um, you know, some hair that like, this is a perfect example. So you want it to be, this is like too dense right here. See? And again, if you have thinner hair, then you can grab more of it because it won't be, it won't look as dense. So if you can like pretty much see through your hair, that's a telltale sign. If you can see through it, then it's good to flat iron. Because if you grab pieces that are too thick, what's going to just end up happening is that your hair is going to come out.